Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Coast Corner. My name is Jericho, and if this is your first time watching, this is a channel all about reselling. Today is Wednesday morning, and we did sell a couple items so far this week, so I just want to go over those with you. All right, guys, the first thing we sold this week is a shirt that I bought from a garage sale a few weeks back, and we just listed it this week from our death pile. So that's why it's very important not to have a death pile unless it's for strategic purposes. So we sold this vintage Spurs t-shirt. It says the house is rocking. It's actually a Magic Johnson T branded shirt. I actually didn't even know Magic Johnson T's existed until I found this one. But it seems like there is a good following. But we sold this for $19.95 plus shipping. And we paid about $0.25 cents for it. Alright, the next thing that sold were these Pokemon cards. A long, long time ago, back before the Pokemon craze, like maybe two, three years ago. I would find Pokemon cards in little single packs on clearance for two or three dollars a pack. I even bought some for as low as a dollar fifty. But they were just at at Target, you know, before everybody wanted them. And I would just buy them and say, you know, maybe it'll be worth something someday. And I had so many, so when the craze popped off, I actually started selling them all. So I probably made a couple hundred dollars off of Pokemon cards inadvertently without even getting into the, the flip game, which I have no interest in waiting at Walmart. But these are the last ones I had. I actually sold these as a bundle, but I'm glad to get rid of these. I'll go ahead and get these two items packed up. We got about $25 of profit on a Wednesday. We've already got over 20 items listed this week, and I'm currently working on getting about 40 video games listed tonight. That should really help boost our sales going into the weekend, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check back in with y'all a little bit later this week for some garage selling. How much are these shorts here? Um, my wife's coming. She she she's no. All right, it's cool. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. How much is uh, this pair of shorts here? Oh, I believe those are a dollar. A yeah. dollar? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. And then these little, uh, is this a makeup bag or coin oh, bag or yeah, pencil anything, bag? Yeah, anything. Um, yeah, you can put anything in there. They're also a dollar. Also a dollar. And then just the last thing, this uh, Columbia vest right here? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That one's two. Two? Okay, cool. Would you be okay just doing 10 even for these? It comes out to 11. Oh yeah, that's good. Just. Do uh, No, thank you. I have a little box in the truck. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Okay, I appreciate it. Good luck today. You. Okay, thanks. Hello. Good morning. Hi. How y'all doing?
<laughs> How much are these shoes right here? Five bucks. Five bucks. Yeah, they're pretty new. Oh, pretty good. I'll take them. How much are your uh, koozies? A dollar. Like the little shock tops. Yeah, I collect stickers too. Uh, we just we have a big cooler that we stick them all on. Well, I so. Europe, so I have one from like every brewery ever. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take those too. That's why you have so much memorabilia over here. Say X. So how much do you have on these? Three. Okay. I'll do that. How much is this uh, Sierra Nevada mirror? Ten. All right, I'll think about it on that one. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna call it with these here. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There you go. How long are you guys gonna be out here today? I'm about twelve or one. Okay, cool. I was actually on my way to a different garage sale, and I saw y'all signed. I have an app called Y'all Treasure Map. So basically it shows up, uh, it's fed into like Facebook and stuff, so a lot of them populate. Uh, Y'all's Vort wasn't on there, I just happened to drive by. If you guys want, I can drop a pin here if y'all don't mind. Sure. And then everyone else who uses the app will know that y'all are here, so they'll drive here. Is that cool with y'all? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? How much do you have on all of these? I see a couple more tapes over there. Mm -hmm. How much are you asking on these? Uh, all right. What do you think you can do if I take all the tapes? Nine dollars. Okay. Um, let's do fourteen, and I'm gonna do that Luke Bryan shirt and hat as well. The one you said for five. Oh, was that? oh, okay, okay. sorry. Yeah, all right, know. sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We look alike, kind of. You know, when I came over, I was like, how'd she sit over here so fast? And I can't look at this table. Here's that makes hands. sense now. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so you much for your time. Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Thank, Thank you. He's fueling me right now. He gives me wings. How you doing this morning? Not bad yourself? Man, I'm making it. And you guys have a nice variety of stuff. Yeah, it's a cornucopia, let me tell you. Uh, yes. I wasn't expecting to see this large of a pallet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys moving or just kind of trying to empty the house a little bit? Uh, both. Oh, and that's where y'all moving to. Uh, well, we moved from Austin. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Hey, what brought you down here? Uh, the lady got a job and I, you know, just had to be with her. <laughs> that's fair. Yep. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was, was, was going to be something different until you opened the door and came back out of here. <laughs> uh, the music? I haven't posted everything yet, but what I don't have is the rock collection out here. Okay. Um, I'm looking to have that out here tomorrow. And whatever doesn't make it out on the shelf, I'll always post on Facebook and Opera. Okay. Do you guys have any other like video game stuff or is it just this little controller here? Video games went early. Okay. The PS2, the 360. Uh, okay. Everything along with them. Sounds good. Yeah. Can we get bored with the Switch? And the Switch yeah. eventually. <laughs> I have one good for the Switch. <laughs> We've got two. And that's a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> that's what it was like four months ago. 
Yeah, when the pandemic kicked off. Everything. Oh yeah, everything was so expensive. Last summer when I was trying so hard to get one. Yeah. I like to collect like sports cards and like that's like impossible to find now too. The yeah. pandemic, like anything collectible is just poached. Yeah. Yeah, but even then when you appraise them, like you gotta send them off to like right. somewhere in like the, the yeah, filler state and Reagan. get them appraised and all that. It's, yeah. It's a process. Yeah, I know the the main company PSA, the one that did the ratings and stuff, uh yeah. they've been shut down for like a year. So they got uh when the boom happened for the pandemic, everybody just sent everything in. And they just said no, unless you're paying. I think the only one they had open is like the expedited, which you pay like five hundred dollars to get your card evaluated. So, unless you think that card has a chance of being worth thousands, right. they're not really taking any orders or anything. They just had the, the website shut down, oh, and it's been like that since probably last summer. They've just been hard shut off just because everyone's bored. No one has anything to do, right. so they're just doing what they can at home. And they sent them all in, and they don't have enough employees enough people to do it so they just said we're well, cut off until we catch up That's so crazy. Holy cow. they were supposed to reopen this summer but i didn't really pay attention to that by that point i didn't even care anymore <laughs> <laughs> i don't even want it anymore <laughs> yeah my dad he got a card for my nephew because my nephew's a chiefs fan now okay or the quarterback so he got a card for him and then he got a card for me and then he got a card for my mom or something for my nephew for like his birthday or Christmas. He's eight. And he looked up online and it's going for like $60. Yeah, it's insane. And it's probably good value now. Yeah. Now is like the time to just sell it off if he's not going to keep it forever because the price will go back down. I think I'm going to stick with just these these two items here. Boom. Yeah, that, awesome. that dog thing is Do bad. No, thank you. Okay. It's just old, so the plastics are. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I can tell. That's awesome. Cool. Thank you all so much. Take it easy. Good luck. Have a good one. Bikes no, 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 no. GoPro, and I know a lot of people like go mountain biking. Oh there. yeah, no, not me. I uh, I have a YouTube channel. Like, have you ever seen like American Pickers? Oh, okay. Uh, basically the same thing. Going out to garage sales, looking for stuff, seeing what I find. Sweet. So I just film it and throw it up online. How much is that little uh, Coleman cooler over there? The little cooler, the hard case one, the blue. Uh, uh, Two dollars. Two bucks. Okay. How much for this uh, console? Did he tell you? No. Let me okay. Just it it's all right. It's all right. He said for the console. Oh uh, yeah, just for the video games he brought out. Okay. So he said forty dollars for everything mm -hmm. for that, and then the edging. He said he doesn't believe so, but he thinks it's the kind you just shove in the ground, but it should say on the box. Okay, I'll read a little bit more. So it'd be ten for it. And is there any issues with it, do you know? I don't believe so. I think he just had too many. Yeah. Too many? Yeah. I, I know one of the batteries has charges if you want to try it out. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Alright. Will you do both batteries for five and then this for five? Is that cool with y'all? Yeah. Okay. So I'm at 47 with the cooler. Would you mind just throwing this in and do a 45 even? I think that should be fine. Okay, cool. All right. I see electronics. Let's put electronics first. See what we can find. Hello. Do you need help with anything? Um, maybe just a couple of different prices. I was here to see what the price was on this one, and then these two right here. Do you know what y'all are asking for in your DVD players and VCRs? No, not yet. Okay. 
yet, but I can go get this. We're going to go off. Okay. Cool. Cool, I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing, sir? All right. Cool, I just want to know uh, supposed some to work. pricing on that and then these two DVD players here. Oh, you want this, this, and this? Yes. Curious on... With the box, what else? Put in? Mm, I don't really no, need no, the whole box, no, but no. I know there's a controller there for the Sony. Toshiba, I don't think I saw a remote in there. Doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, how about $20 for the whole box? What's this? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Cool, perfect. I don't know if there's some cables, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think, we can take I think those with this them. is the VCR one right yep. here. And uh, it should have all the kick power ports done. Okay. We're good. And once I'm ready, there's a, the front table you go cash out at, or just? And, or you can give it to me. All right, I think I'll cash out, then I'll put this in the truck and come yeah, back out here. What? Cool. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. No problem, thank you. For the Boy Scouts. <laughs> yes, sir. I found a couple other things on. You found more? No yeah, way! Yep. How much do you guys have on... I have these random little junky things, okay. but uh, on these you, bottles uh, here. You want the Avon, huh? The Avon who's, bottles. Who's collecting them? I don't know. Not what me. You but not you, but you're going to resell it? I mean, it's a hot commodity. You want them all? Yes. 14, 16. I was asking, you know, a buck a piece, but they're 16, I'll give you for ten dollars for all of it. Okay, and then with these ten dollars for all of it. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Tough bargain. Right now. Oh, okay, twenty would be fine <laughs> too, yeah. Well, so we'll have fifty Appreciate more dollars to spend, so you do. I'll be waving you down. Right. I'll well, leave you hey, down. Dude, you got credit cards. We got, <laughs> we got a reader. Hey, don't there. tell me that. Yeah. Now I have to go to my truck, and then I'll be back. That's what. No <laughs> yeah, we take credit cards. This goes to one of them. I don't know which one. Which one? I didn't want to just, Maybe it's, but oh, no. just take it with you. Okay, I'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. But I stopped doing that a long time ago, so. I didn't want to like go out of pocket so I just sold the camera on eBay got like 400 bucks for it after fees and that's what I use to get started so at first I really only knew like video games and wrestling so that's what I'd look for and I'll slowly start looking for more and more so as time goes on I'm learning more but yeah. I still don't know, no, I don't know a lot I only know what I know like you said video games yeah. some collectible stuff cards yep uh, toys some mm -hmm. toys very very few but I don't know a lot so I try to obviously the only way to do it is to learn everything but that takes time but it's been pretty good i do a part time i, I work for rbfcu full-time okay. so uh i only basically cross selling on saturdays is like my only chance and then yeah. and then that's it but it's still going pretty good it's a fun hobby and i've been enjoying it so far yeah, uh, eventually like gary v said i'd like to do a full-time but that takes a lot of work and a lot of knowledge so i wouldn't I personally don't want to do it full time, but like I said, it'll be a fun. Yeah. Holiday. You could maybe do like to, uh, if you do it twice a month and make maybe make a couple hundred mm -hmm. or a thousand dollars a month extra off of it. That's still thousand yeah. dollars a month times that by twelve. Yeah, it, it's not really that bad because I mean I started with just selling that camera. Mm -hmm. Now I have like five shelves. Like I I put it all back in right. Yeah. So I was able to do that. I was able to pay for this yeah. with with the money. So a lot of stuff that I do get. I'm just putting it back in so i'm not really pocketing a lot but uh i still find so much stuff for the house it's, i think my whole wardrobe is like dollar shirts from garage sales now like so personally it, there are benefits too oh yeah that's true but i'd recommend it it's fun it's it's really addicting i have i'm up to 500 uh, 500 item inventory now starting with just selling my camera in february so oh, nice. it does go up <laughs> Yeah, I'll look at other people, not Gary V. I mean, I love Gary V. I, I listen to all his stuff, but he's doing it to show people. Yeah. I, I but like if you it. watch, like, Cincinnati Pickers, probably like, one of the biggest ones. Okay. He has so much knowledge, so I watch them because they teach me what to look for. Okay. Gary V. He's just like out there winging it. He doesn't know either. He's just yeah. He's just buying stuff, which. Also kind of the good stuff. Like, if you, yeah. there's certain things you know that's gonna. Sell. Yeah, like there's tons of stuff that he walks by at a garage so that you know would be worth stuff. But I mean, he's a millionaire. He doesn't really need to do it all, but he's just doing it to teach he's just people. Doing it he wants to show people the hustle. To 
content and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Because you got the following. He's got the following. Yeah. So he makes way more money off the video he posts than what yeah. he finds the flip. Yeah. <laughs> Does this have all the steaks in it, Dino? Uh, so I think I ha it comes with. I, I have to oh. purchase the purple. I, I, I see them in here. The little, yeah. Like, um, the little steaks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. But. Um, Hammer I, I just use a little bit of that one and then I kept the rest for two dollars. So I don't have it in the garage doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. It's like this is something we just got a house okay. and so we've been buying this so yeah. that that and that's for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do that one. Okay. The morning is a lot of people walking around. Oh yeah, yeah. the morning is seven AM yeah, oh yeah. Once we opened up that's when someone came and he bought all the gaming stuff I had right there. Oh, you had gaming stuff? I had gaming stuff. He bought it all. What did you sell? Uh, 360, Elite, some games, a few collector's items that were in there. Mm -hmm. I looked them up and I'm like, all right, some of this is like maybe worth like 20 bucks, some of this worth this much. Uh, I don't know if you were really big into Halo, but I forgot what game it came out of, but there was this notebook, I guess, that came like, it was some journal or diary that okay. was like the Spartan thing when they were doing it. Mm -hmm. And it had photos and all this other stuff. So just, yeah, that's like it's one of those things that you only got it when you pre ordered the game. Yeah, yeah, those are pretty cool. Yeah, like I looked it up and I was like, okay, it's only, but it's only worth $20. Like, if you don't, there's not like high value or high dollar. Or but like, $20 is still adds up yeah. if you've got $120 items to sell. <laughs> yeah, so he bought everything for, I told him, like, if he, he made me an offer, I told him, like, I just asked for 80 and he, he took it all. Probably fair, but for both of y'all. I forgot I had it till I pulled it out of when it was like the Xbox was sit, sitting on the Yeah, you don't even remember. I forgot I even had it. I'm like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, what the hell is all this? And I looked here and I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm going to do just those things. Uh, so for three. Thank you. Yes, $3. Thank, thank you. you very much. I appreciate it. So, nice talking to you, man. Right, My channel is Coast Corner if you ever want to check it out. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Bad. Not bad. How much are your blue jeans? Two dollars the blue jeans. The blue jeans? Uh-huh. Two dollars. Two. Uh-huh. Okay. I think I'm going to do these three here. Okay. Uh, How much are these little cases here? Uh, 50 cents each. Okay, cool. You guys been around the neighborhood at all yet? Yep, I think I was just on my way out and I saw your your sign here, but yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a pretty good amount of houses to the neighborhood. Did you find anything good, collectible? Um, not in this, so I got here too late. I started yeah. in a different neighborhood, so I just got here about 10 o'clock, so yeah. it was a pretty run through. Yeah, it's always nice to be the first one. yeah I, I love garage sale oh i love i, I go mad i can't go but at the same time i got too much stuff. yeah I i'm up <laughs> six o'clock every morning and I'm, and I'm out there yeah yeah i love it yeah it's a lot of fun shoot i found i found that cobra 10 the uh the shelby mm -hmm. that cobra for really? like a dollar you yeah know, you find so like much that. stuff i have the beer signs and yeah yeah, I'm addicted. Yeah, me too. All right, guys. Welcome back. It's now Sunday. Thank you guys so much for going with me garage selling. As you can see, we kind of switched it up a bit. There was a lot to see, so we're probably going to cut a lot of it out just because I spent so much time at different places and we just found such random stuff. So I want to go over everything we bought today because almost everything you see today is stuff that we haven't bought before. All right, this first lot of stuff that I got, we went to a rummage sale. And when I got there, it turns out that it was actually some Boy Scouts and all their families. They collected all this stuff together. And also, we were going to fund a vacation. They were going on a, a trip for all of the Boy Scouts. But I bought a lot of stuff there, and those deals were amazing. I can't even tell you what I paid exactly for each item, because every time I would go up to the guy you saw and ask them what he wanted for the items, he would just do a bulk deal. So we're gonna go over what we got at that rum and sell first, just so we can lot it all up together, and then we'll go from there. All right, 
The first thing you'll see here, there were two of these KLH speakers there. They had a sticker for $20. I asked them if that was for each or if he, that was for both. Uh, I think I just said the same thing twice with different words, but uh, they actually gave me both for 20. If they had the actual record player there as well, the whole thing would have sold for about $550 is what the comps were on eBay. Just the speakers alone, uh, but if I can find a way to test them, I'll probably be able to get about $200 for it, only spending $20. If they don't work, then we're probably looking at about the $100 range, which for spending $20 is still a great profit. All right, this next thing I paid about $10 for there. I had a whole bunch of VCRs and DVD players, and they just said 10 bucks for everything. I think after this rumor sale, I'm going to stop buying these because I haven't even had a chance to clean them up and test them all. So I'm not going to buy any more until I have a chance to test all the ones I do have and list them all. One little thing, it did have this little vintage butter tray in there. I looked it up, stuff with this style is going for about $20. So this little random butter tray that I did not know was in there, uh, we'll probably pay for this whole box and then everything else is just gravy. But like I said, it was 10 bucks, easy smeezy. All right, something that was really cool at there, they had all these Avon uh, aftershave bottles. Some of them still have liquid in there, so I'm gonna empty them out before I put them for sale. But I looked up a couple of their comps and some of these are going for about seven to $10 plus shipping. I have nine of them. This is another case where they wanted a dollar each, but they actually gave me a whole box of stuff for $10 again. So I was thinking about just lighting all of them up. I think easily and for a quick sale, I could probably sell all of these for $50 as one lot and just pack them, ship them and get them out. Quick sale. Couple more items I got. I got this, this glove at that same uh, swap meet rummage sale was in a bulk deal so i don't know exactly what we paid for it but these do go for about 20 25 dollars plus shipping so this will be quick and easy as well especially with little league fall ball coming up i thought these were really cool these are from 1989 these are two campbell soup mugs so together i think i could probably sell this for about 20 probably paid a dollar for these total we got this vintage nestle toll house cookie tin it's empty of course i think i didn't even check but yeah it's empty I actually looked up this exact one and they're going for about $20 alone. So another thing that was in that little bulk deal that we're going to profit on. Now here is Wii Sports, just in case. If you remember in one of our last videos, we ended up finding Wii Sports in the wild with no case or anything. So I was actually still holding on to it. So now that I have this, it's just empty. They gave this to me as well. Uh, I have now, I can now sell it complete with this case. Uh, there's no manual, so I'll keep looking for the manual, but People don't really care about that on the Wii Sports. So this will actually just help up the value of that game when we're ready to sell it. But two things I didn't want to talk about, these I actually got two weeks ago, but I left them in the truck, so I didn't talk about them last week, but we got this cool vintage Beverly Cleary, uh, Beverly Cleary book. So these go for about 10 to $15 on eBay. So that's just a cool little thing, but I think I might save that for the antique store that I want to open. And then there was also this T25. Y'all saw me sell this before we, we Sold it for $15 last time and it sold instantly. And I told you guys, I think I priced it kind of low. I think I'm still going to price it for the quick turnaround at $14.99, 15 bucks. Last time we, we had to pay $5 to get a hold of this. This time we only paid a dollar. So we're going to make even more profit without raising the price. All right. So at one, I bought about four bags of Beanie Babies. I'm not going to bring them all out and show you guys. They were asking for 15 for it. I just said yes to it because I was already buying a PS2 there, which you'll see in a second. Uh, but what caught my eye is that there was this Princess Diana Beanie Baby in there. Um, I just kind of saw it in the bag. I don't want to go look through it, but some, there's a specific Princess Diana Beanie Baby, which is, I almost had it. I met like seven of the eight criteria for it to be the original. And that original is going for hundreds of dollars. This one, I'm probably gonna be able to get about 10 to 15 for it, make our money back. And then all of the McDonald's sealed Beanie Baby minis, I'm just gonna lock all of those up together and just see what we get for them. At that same garage where I got those Beanie Babies, you saw they were a really cool couple. I actually bought some farm fresh eggs from them. They have their own chickens and those are the best eggs you've never had them before. But I also got this Dewalt drill. I have to look up the sold comps, but I got the battery charger, uh, the two batteries and the drill for $10. So it really made it a quick, easy sell for me. I think if anything, if the battery sell well alone, then I'll sell those and maybe keep the drill for myself for the house. And since we do have this house with just a quarter drill, I might keep that. But if there's good money in it, I'm just going to sell it. We can always get ourselves a lower end drill. We don't need anything too heavy duty. All right, one of the garage sales, uh, there's a girl, she said she used to work for the beer companies, I guess, just 
uh, throwing out some flair to different bars and just kind of uh, representing. So I got this cool Bud Light swim trunks. They're ultra thin, so I'm not gonna keep them for myself, but they're brand new, super clean, and I saw them going for about $20 free shipping. We paid a dollar for it, so that's gonna be some good money for us. The staple for me, jeans. I got three pairs of Levi's. Levi's are quick sellers. I put them for about $25 free shipping, and they're easy to make $10 to $15 really quick. So I always pick up Levi's, especially when they're $3 or less. All right, we got heads up. It's a uh, Ellen DeGeneres game show game. I guess they play it on her show. I got it for a dollar. It's new sealed. They're selling for about six to seven bucks plus shipping. So we won't make a lot of it, but because it is sealed, I think it should be a quicker seller. Or uh, we did actually just get approved for Amazon FBA. So as things unlock, we might put it on there if there's more money that way. All right, so I got a whole bunch of these Ipsy little makeup accessory bags. Uh, I paid a, roughly a dollar each for these. I got them just because they were so cheap and I looked up one or two of them and they were selling for about 10 to $15. They obviously aren't going to weigh anything, so they're going to be super cheap to ship. So I, was, I thought that we could get these in a bundle when I got a couple other items. Looking now, doing some more research, I might just lock them up and put them all together. Uh, I guess it's like a subscription service makeup company that offers these and this is how you get them. So I thought I'd just lot them up and maybe there's a makeup collector, Ipsy collector. They just might want the whole thing. Uh, one of those garage sales where we got that Luke Bryan equipment. We find so many vintage cameras, so it only makes sense to get a hold of old camera tapes. These are all new, sealed in the packages. Uh, paid a couple bucks for them. I, I, that one's broken, uh, but we still have a couple more to sell. But these go for about 10 to $15 and it's considered media, so it's media mail, or at least as I understand it, if I'm wrong on that, correct me please before I get uh, charged extra at the post office for it when they audit it. I paid $5 for these Adidas right here. They are almost completely new. They're in phenomenal shape. There's almost no wear at all, so I could sell them like, like new condition. I have looked up this exact model. They seem a little bit on the lower end, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's just like $15 to $20 plus shipping for these shoes. They are not my size or else I'd consider keeping them. All right, lastly, we did get that PS2 Slim. We paid 40, which is probably the most we paid. The PS2 Slim by itself will go for about 60 to $70. So we are gonna make our money back, but it did come with a huge stack of games. There are, are a couple games in here that are gonna sell for about 10 to $20 and then some lower end games that we're just gonna bundle with the PS2 to up that value. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm excited to get listening. I do have a challenge for myself here. We are week over week increasing the inventory of our store, being way more aggressive when we go out to garage sales and I'm being more aggressive at home, actually listening and getting this stuff online. So do me a favor, go to the link in the description of the video where I have our eBay store link and just type in the comments exactly how many items you see in the store. Cause I do want to see how long, how many items I can get into the store from the time I'm filming right now to the time y'all see in two weeks. Hopefully it's over 200. If it's not, then that means I was slacking or we just had really good sales, one or the other. But thank you guys so much. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw. This is it for today. Thank you guys. Peace and love.